research group European Membrane Institute Twente EMI is part of University of Twente, a research university in the Netherlands, and aims to valorize and transfer the academic results and know-how into demonstrated membrane products, processes and technology for the industry. Membrane filtration is a separation technology that is generally a pressure-driven process. The driving force in this separation is pressure. Typical everyday applications of this technology are water desalination for the production of drinking water, removal of bacteria and suspended particles from swimming pool water, the separation of fats and bacteria from milk, and the separation of gaseous nitrogen or oxygen from air. A membrane is a semi-permeable barrier that selectively allows components to go through. The components that successfully pass the membrane make up the permeate. The ones that are retained make up the concentrate. Component retention is based on different molecular characteristics such as size, charge or molecular affinity. Membranes can be used to separate solutes from solvent by using a membrane that has suitable characteristics for retaining these solutes. There are four main types of pressure-driven membrane filtration microfiltration, ultrafiltration, nanofiltration and reverse osmosis in order of decreasing pore size. Examples of typical retained solutes for each type of membranes are suspended particles in microfiltration, proteins in ultrafiltration, sugars in nanofiltration and dissolved table salt in reverse osmosis. There are two main types of membranes. Hollow fibre membranes, which essentially are straws with on one side the feed and on the other side the permeate. These can generally be operated both inside out and outside in. And second, flat sheet membranes. These flat sheets are rolled into spiral wound modules, allowing for a large amount of membrane surface area to be packed in a small volume. Hollow fibre membranes are mostly used in MF, UF and NF applications. Typical applications are in municipal wastewater treatment, where they remove particles and bacteria, and the beverage industry, where they are used to concentrate fruit juice or remove pulp. Hollow fiber membranes can generally be cleaned by reversing the flow direction, removing the particles from the membrane surface. Flat sheet membranes are mainly used in NF and RO applications. Typical applications are water desalination for the production of drinking water, production of alcohol-free beer and the separation of pharmaceuticals from the production process. These types of membranes are generally cleaned by treatment with dedicated cleaning agents. During production, fouling can build up on the membrane surface, leading to a reduction of membrane performance. Cleaning is required to partially restore membrane performance a typical example of industrial operation can be seen in Figure 9. Membrane performance will drop over time, which is partially regenerated by a cleaning procedure. General types of fouling are Scaling, caused by deposits of minerals like calcium carbonate and silicon dioxide to form on the membrane surface and particles forming a cake on the membrane surface. Scaling is often cleaned using an acidic cleaning agent. Hollow fiber membranes can reverse flow direction to remove the particle cake, but can also be cleaned using cleaning agents. A typical membrane separation related to the recycling of plastic is organic solvent membrane filtration. Organic synthesis in the industry frequently requires recovery of high added value products from organic solvents. These separations are often performed using more traditional methods such as distillation, evaporation and absorption. The problem with these separations, however, is that these often require a large amount of energy to be performed. Membrane filtration has the added benefit of lower energy consumption and minimal thermal damage to heat-sensitive molecules as a result of operation of a low temperature. An important concept in organic solvent membrane filtration is the molecular weight cutoff. This describes the retention capability of a membrane for a molecular weight at which the membrane has 90% retention. 
A molecular weight cutoff of 176 Dalton, the molecular weight of ascorbic acid, means that 90% of ascorbic acid molecules will be retained by the membrane, while 10% of the ascorbic acid molecules will be able to pass through the membrane. Smaller molecules will be able to pass through the membrane through size exclusion. Molecular weight cutoff is an important benchmark for which components will be able to permeate. In addition to separation based on size exclusion, retention based on dipole moments is also used. Polar or apolar membrane interfaces will repel or attract components based on their polarity. Complex mixtures of organic solvents, as can be expected as a result of pyrolysis of plastics, are a challenge to separate. The reason for this is the sheer amount of components with similar structures and or molecular weights. On the left is a simple mixture of hexane and hexadecane, components with a large difference in molecular weights. Because of this large difference, separation with organic solvent nanofiltration is feasible. On the right is an example of a challenging mixture. Most components are similar in mass and structures. This separation will not be very selective and would require many stages of organic solvent nanofiltration to achieve sufficient separation. The main issues related to the development of membrane processes for organic solvent nanofiltration are the lack of multi-purpose membranes, as the membranes often have to be highly specific to one type of separation. The selectivity towards solutes, especially at similar molecular size and in the case of mixtures of isomers. The capability to describe or predict nanofiltration performance by means of modeling and the amount of capital investment required to build novel OSN facilities. The commercial viability of organic solvent nanofiltration due to operational expenses is potentially high when comparing to traditional separation technologies, since the amount of energy required for the separation can be significantly lower. The capital investment for organic solvent nanofiltration, however, is high due to high-cost membranes and lower permeability, resulting in a higher membrane surface area required. In addition, it can be expected that several stage of organic solvent membrane filtration units are required, adding up to the total investment and footprint.